Some of you don't even realize you have unfinished business. You need to go back where you left off with a new perspective. Go back to the gym. Go back to the drawing board. Go back to the business. Go back to the relationship. Go back to the burning building. You have unfinished business. Perspective is everything. Let's go. I need you to hear me loud and clear. How you see this thing is everything. You cannot change the past, but you can change your perspective about it. You got to see this thing differently. Stop complaining about the divorce. Stop complaining about the job loss. Stop complaining about the relocation. Your viewpoint is your advantage. Thank you for breaking up with me. Here's what you did. You opened up another opportunity for somebody else to come into my life. Thank you for firing me. You gave me an opportunity to explore entrepreneurship. I'm not bitter, I'm better. Perspective is what changes the game. Everybody wants increase and, and abundance and lifestyle change and new zip codes and new area codes, but you only read once a week and you only work out once or twice a month. And so the, the reason why you don't have what it is that you see, the reason why what's in your head is not in your hands, it's not your reality, it's because your perspective opposes your potential. You don't have it because you don't see the value in it. If you believe you've been going to be the difference maker, the game changer, the disruptor, the person that comes into a room and commands the atmosphere, if you believe you've been called to be necessary and not grossly irrelevant, then everything you do, everything you see, everything rises and falls on your perspective, your perception, your viewpoint. How do you see this thing? What happens when your perspective, your perception diametrically opposes your reality? What is it that gives your life a sense of meaning and purpose? Because once you find that, it puts you in your power place. See, if you know what your life work is, I encourage you to start working on it. If you can't do it all at one time, do just a little bit of it. And if you don't know what it is that you showed up to do, if you don't know why you're here, I encourage you to find out what your purpose is here. What is the meaning of your life? What will be different? Have you ever asked yourself that question? I've done that. I, I remember coming from a friend of mine's funeral and I was reflecting on how much time I had left. And I went for a walk in a park thinking about this guy whose life was so promising. And I mean, he wasn't an old guy, he was quite young in fact. And I thought about all of the things that he said he was going to do and he never got a chance to do those things. And I start thinking about my own life and how much time I had left to do the things that I would like to do. And at that time, I wasn't sure what my life purpose was, what my life's work was. I wasn't sure about it at that time. And I thought about it quite a lot. I had some idea, but I, I wasn't convinced. I don't think I felt worth I didn't believe that it could be me to do this kind of work that I'm doing right now. And I say to you that if you begin to take a conscious effort to find out what it is that you're supposed to do, I say that it can literally save your life. I said that it can literally save your life. 85% of the American public, according to recent studies, are going to jobs that they hate. Working on jobs that do not challenge this from just about everything, disappear, come back, and shock the world. I'm talking to that athlete. I'm talking to that administrator. I'm talking to that nurse, that doctor. I'm talking to that student. I'm talking to that communicator. I'm talking to that pioneer, that inventor. I'm talking to that entrepreneur. I'm talking to that preacher. I'm talking to that person who refuses to stay where they are I'm talking to that person that doesn't have a problem laying in obscurity because you know that when you come out of 
the dark room. All eyes on you. We live in a culture of busyness, distraction, and noise. And sometimes the only way something's going to change is if we disappear. Sometimes you gotta delete the app. Sometimes you have to walk away. Sometimes you have to fall back into the dark room and focus on you. Everybody wants destiny. Everybody wants manifestation. Everybody wants fulfillment. Everybody wants the next level and the relationship and a higher quality of living. But nobody wants to eliminate distractions. Nobody wants to disappear for three months, four months, six months and get into a place where you can focus on just you. What if you could just shut out every distraction? What if you could just shut out the world for just a season and focus on you? A man is rewarded in public for what he does in private. Can you unplug for just a moment and focus on you, focus on what matters? Why are you here? What is your destiny? The, the reason why you don't see it, the reason why it has not manifested, the reason why you are so frustrated is because you have not been willing to forsake all that you've been called to forsake and to follow through behind closed doors. Sure, you can talk about it. Sure, you can plan it. Sure, you can write it down. Sure, you can go to the conference and hear about it. You can read about it. But at some juncture, you have to disappear and put the work in and come back and shock everybody that doubted you. I'm talking to that man, that woman, that boy, that girl who feels the fire in their belly. It's time for you to shock the world. You may have to sleep in your car. You may have to go without food. You may have to bounce around from couch to couch. You may have to sacrifice like nobody in your family ever has. But can you do it behind the scenes when nobody's looking, when nobody's watching, when nobody understands the measure of passion that you carry? Can you keep going? Don't stop. You're right there. Go through the process in the dark room that prepares us and equips us for the stages of destiny. It's time to get real. It's time to get raw. It's time to look ourselves in the mirror and come to the resolve that this version of ourself is not going to carry us in the stretch. That I've been this version of myself long enough that if I don't change, if I don't do something about this, then I'm gonna find myself bankrupt. See, in your life, everybody has a turn back. You have a moment where you can go forward or you can give up. The thing you have to keep in mind before you give up is that if you give up, the guarantee is it will never happen. That's the guarantee of quitting, that it will never happen no way under the sun. The only way the possibility remains that it can happen is if you never give up no matter what. Because God is always coming. He's never too late.